Hello, good to be back uh, after uh, being away for some time, but I was really busy with some uh, important uh, tasks like the new Prime Store, the Prime Blocks Angler, our new Headless Core, uh, some Prime NG releases, especially the 20, and some work on Prime View and the next generation of Prime React. Also, lately, the new CI pipeline to generate Prime themes directly from Figma. But now I'd like to discuss the Prime NG21, the next version, the upcoming version. For uh, this version, we are adding the past three attributes, which I'm really uh, a fan of. Uh, we, we have been using it for offering it for Prime and Prime React for quite some time. And also um, replacing the deprecated animations with our own animations. Uh, I was really never a fan of the Angular animations, which was really, really verbose and uh, quite buggy. Now I'm quite happy that uh, they dropped it, deprecated it, and now we are migrating to the new animations API. Um, we are not expecting some breaking changes uh, and should be quite stable to the 2 and one So uh, let's see what this pass-through attributes is. So as component authors, we provide props, events, and some templating options to customize the component. But if you need the requirements never end. At some point, you need an attribute or some event on a particular element inside the component um, DOM. So in this case, you're not limited to the component author, in this case us, to request new attributes. So you have full control over the DOM by adding new attributes and um, events. For example, now we have accordion. Let's check. There's a pass-through section here, which is new. So the root of the accordion, the panels, the headers, the toggle icon, all the DOM elements are exposed through pass-through attributes. So with pass-through attributes, these are the keys of these elements. And the value part is an object where you can pass any arbitrary attribute like area and also events. So let me check out, let me show you this example here with the dialog. Where is my dialog? Here. Now, in the pass-through, we have, let's say, header and title options here. Let's go to the basic one. And now, let me create a PT attribute, a property. And let's say we are passing an object and say role heading for an area. And it can be basically anything. There is no strict type here. You can just say X10. And for the title, we can even add classes. Let's say uh, in Tailwind, I think uh, it was uh, italic. Font italic. What was the style italic? I can't remember, but let's make it want extra light maybe to see if it works and we need to bind this with the PT option and let's see we also have the heading is here title is extra light now I've also added styles and classes and now you can you can see that X10 is here role heading is here Otherwise, without this feature, there are two options. One is templating. You need to replace the default template, which gives you a lot of flexibility. But of course, it's, it may be a bit cumbersome because just to add a new attribute, you need to provide the whole template and you might lose some styling, design tokens and such. But uh, with this approach, we, are, we haven't added a role attribute to the components API for header, like header role or something or header title class. Everything is exposed and you can also add events like on click. Suppose that you would like to do something when the user clicks on the header. Let's say prime. Okay, let's click the header. Now you can see that we are seeing the log here at this section. So we can add events, any events, any, any DOM events. This is all about DOM. So forget about the high-level properties. Th this is not a prop. This is all attributes, HTML attri attributes, right? Anything that's valid in HTML that's supported here, 
Um, there's one thing, which is the pass through attributes. We sometimes use components inside another component. So here we have the PC toggle button, close button, sorry, which is actually a prime button. So it's meaning that if it starts with PC, meaning prime component, that means if we can use the PT of it as well. Now, we have to, I have to start with root because it's also another component. It's not just the DOM element. So I'm getting the component and accessing the DOM. So here, for example, we can say BG blue 500 text white. Let's say I can override it if I'm not using CSS layers with tailwind. And so I think it should be that. I think they change it between tailwind three and four. Um, no, not yet. PC close button, right? Let's see, come on. Or here. Yeah, I got it. So, and I even ask AI to how to do it. So I'm proud of myself. Now, um, you can have content, footer, everything is accessible. And now I would like to show you one another trick, which is, let's say, global configuration. Here we can use the global configuration so that you would like to control the HTML attributes of the components globally. So for every dialog, I will make the PC toggle button of every dialog blue. PT dialog, um, I think we haven't passed the type yet. We, this is working progress. So we haven't passed the type yet. So the title, let's make this header, PT dialog header. Okay. And for example, we can remove this part. And should be class, I think, not the root. Okay, now I'm breaking all the dialogues in my application. But it gives you a nice way because you don't need to wrap prime components to set the defaults. You can set the defaults from the global PT and they're merged with the local PT and the local one should take precedence. And also we, uh, I've described how to add events and it gives you endless possibilities because as I mentioned, the most important part is the flexibility. You don't need to wait for us to offer new attributes because their attributes are endless. I mean, it, it never stops. With this generic approach, you are able to access the component DOM at, at arbitrary attributes and events, and it actually uh, leads the way to the uh, unstyled mode. Prime NG21 will also provide unstyled modes. It means when you set it like unstyled true, for a particular component like this, or you can just use it as here, like something like unstyled, the API hasn't been created yet, but something like this. It removes all the design tokens, all the default styling, so that you all can pass your Tailwind classes to style or Tailwind or something else like Bootstrap, whatever uh, you can, but Tailwind works really well. Um, so that you can pass these uh, CSS classes, inject them through the DOM, and you can create your uh, own styling with Prime View Vault. Actually, uh, here we can see that there is um, the same thing, the same component, but the usage is the same. But if you can see the code, it is created with Tailwind. Now, this is a PT object. We will probably do something like Vault for Prime NG, get this part and move it to um, a Prime NG Vault version, the Vault version of, uh, sorry, the Angular version of Prime NG. And these components are managed in your application. So instead of 
from npm you get it to from npx from the github directly or code base so that you can style it uh, the way you like it uh, with with your theme, uh, css framework of your choice in this case tailwind all right uh prime ng21 is under active development and i think uh, we will finish all the pt and the pass through and unstart mode uh, by in a month or so and 21 will be really a huge improvement over 20. all right that's it for me and see you hopefully uh, soon in the next video thank you